With his poll numbers on the decline, it looks like President Biden's been talked into ditching the basement campaign strategy of yesteryear. Instead, he'll be taking his clown show out on the road. But instead of focusing on his successes, like touting Bidenomics or the next appliance that he'll ban in the name of climate, his advisors are apparently urging him to attack his opponents, namely former President Trump and Nikki Haley seemingly abandoning a pro-Biden platform in favor of the old faithful orange man bad approach. <laughs> Join us now, I'll kick host and Fox News contributor Tommy Laren. Tommy, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on the show. Um, I would argue that it's a really good campaign strategy to actually campaign, but I wonder, is this going to be a detriment to Joe Biden if you look at his mental acuity? He, he may make more gaffes than uh, serves his campaign well when he's on the trail. Yeah, you know, every time that he speaks, especially if it's off prompter, his aides and his staff, they tend to white knuckle it, worrying what he's going to say or what story he's going to make up. So there's that. He runs that risk. But this isn't a new strategy. The whole mega Republican, the, the dark Brandon in front of that red, bloody background. This has been the strategy of the Biden campaign for the last three years to talk about Donald Trump. Bidenomics was ditched in 2023. They don't have an agenda to run on. They don't have a record to run on. So as you mentioned, Dagan, all they can say is of orange man bad and we know likey bad tweets and that man's going to destroy democracy. They're going to triple quadruple down on January 6th, their liberal Christmas, because that's quite frankly all they have. It's going to be interesting to see how Joe Biden navigates this, but this is their only option. He has right. to get out of the basement. He has to talk about Donald Trump because people don't vote for Joe Biden. They simply vote against Donald Trump. And that's their Hail Mary right now. It will be very interesting because when he was pulling this running uh, three years ago, he didn't have a record as president to run on. But if he wants to talk Trump, well, people think, oh, my God, we were making money. Uh, inflation was at 1.4%. The economy was growing. Yeah, please talk about policy, yo, coot. Yeah, he's not going to talk about the accomplishments of Donald Trump, and there are many when you talk about the economy, you talk about foreign policy, you talk about immigration, you talk about trade deals. He's not going to talk about those things as they relate to Donald Trump. He simply can only go on January 6th and the old threat to democracy, threat to the republic. He's going to fall back on racism, of course, maybe throw a little bit of climate change in there, mm -hmm. because that's all liberals know how to do. They know how to talk about identity politics, climate change, racism. And Donald Trump being a threat to democracy, that's the only thing in the toolkit. And unfortunately for them, Joe Biden's the only person they have on their bench unless they want to turn to Kamala Harris. Or, that's also not a winning strategy. So this is all they have. Or we could have this guy as well. Let's, let's <laughs> put it to us. California Governor Gavin Newsom. He's taking a dig at our reporting on America's crime crisis. He posted on X, quote, homicide rates across the nation are down. The U.S. just saw its biggest annual drop on record. Bets on if Fox News runs this graphic? Instead of focusing on uh, one report, why don't you take a step outside of your own office, old Gabby? And the same day he posted that, 100 people, part of an illegal street takeover, robbed and then trashed a bakery in Compton. So, Tommy, it's interesting. Gavin Newsom will go to all kinds of lengths to uh, try to uh, get us off the scent of how bad California is, why people are leaving California. Um, and pretend like it's great and it's just the reporting of California, not his policies themselves. Well, first of all, Gavin Newsom is obsessed with Fox News and Fox right. Business, so we call him a fan. Thank you very much, Gavin Newsom. <laughs> if you're watching, I have a feeling that you are. Uh, he's a fan of ours. We should send him a shirt or some merchandise. But beyond that, this is what frustrates me when Democrats try to talk about falling crime rates. A recent Gallup poll shows that Americans, 77 percent of them, feel like crime is going up. And why? Because, as you mentioned, Sean, they take a look at their own backyard. They're afraid to go shopping in the shopping malls because they don't know if there's going to be a smash and grab. They don't know if they're going to be caught up in the mayhem. So Americans are not feeling these numbers that he's putting up. It also frustrates me because they talk about these drops in crime rates. 2020 and on saw horrible crime. So if you actually go back to 2019, crime rates are not down. It was just so bad in 2020. It's kind of like when they talk about how they created all those new jobs while they destroyed the economy in 2020 and act like they created something new. This is very similar to that. And also in California, if you don't make arrests and you don't prosecute crimes, they consider that a win and they consider that 
that, making crime go down when that's simply not the case. So Gavin Newsom should stop watching Fox News for a couple of minutes and pay attention to his own state and watch the U-Haul trucks pull on out. Thank you so much, Tommy Laren. Catch Tommy Laren is fearless on OutKick tonight at 7 p.m. We won't miss it.